Emotional regression is this phenomenon where one minute you're adult, next minute you're not. Feeling small or feeling little, feeling less than a powerful adult. But it's also, a, a, another way to think about it, is an unconscious return to your history or past. It's an unconscious and unintentional return to your history and past. You don't mean to. You just go there. And what's really weird about regression is you may not know you're there until you're out of it. And if you don't remember anything else, I hope you'll remember this from this short talk tonight. Most regression equals regret. Most people will regret what they've said, regret what they did or didn't say, or didn't do, sometimes for weeks, months, or even decades. Okay? Most regressions equal regret. But here's a biochemical and physiological explanation for it real quick. It's coming out of the neocortex, where you can be rational and thoughtful and conscious and linear and practical and make good choices. But when regression happens, you actually go back to your reptile brain. And there in that place, you can only do three things. Fight, flight, or freeze. Regression happens. It's not a neuroses. It's not a psychosis. It cannot be cured once and for all. It's a part of the human condition. When people regress, they tend to get very angry or even get into rage. Regressed people tend to rage. Adults tend to express anger appropriately. Anger is a feeling and an emotion that every kid and every adult has the right to, to ward off injustice and abuse and inappropriate behavior. Rage is an action or a behavior that numbs people's feelings. A woman called me the other day. She said, I've read all your books and listened to all your tapes, and I'm absolutely certain my husband needs to come see you for therapy. <laughs> One of my goals is to try to be in an adult state as much as possible. A wonderful woman named Pia Melody said in one of her books, she said, it is 100% a person's responsibility to be an adult as much of the time as possible. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about being childlike. Childlike is a choice that the adult makes because it's the proper time or situation. I'm talking about being childish, where there is no choice involved. Passivity is this state where a person becomes addicted or compelled to pursue that which they cannot have. I'll say it again. Passivity is the psychological, emotional, physical, and spiritual state where the person is addicted more to not having than having. So I say, what, what would it be like this holiday if instead of giving a bunch of presents and meaningless gifts, if somebody said to their, their son or their daughter, so how would you like to be loved? Or you said that to your father or your mother or your lover or your sister or your brother. How would you like to be loved and then love them just that way? It's real hard to do because of the regression and the passivity. Here's the phrase. Here's one of the most passive, regressive phrase one adult can say to another adult. Ready? Do you love me? Yeah. I'm asking the wrong question. I'm asking the wrong question. The right question would be, how well am I loving you? That an adult's life does not depend on how well you're loving me. My life depends on how well am I loving my community, my church, my God, my parents, my kids. But the way I do that is, among others, is to identify how I'm regressing, to identify what it takes to come out of regression, to identify how to stay as an adult and as a mature adult as much as possible, 
and to keep identifying this passive place that I can fall into. And I'm telling you, and without meaning to shame myself or anybody in the process, that place is this great sucking thing that pulls me back real easily. And then, if I can come out of that for even just a little while, then maybe I can do this active loving, which is one of the greatest cures for passivity there will ever be.